Hi everyone. I have here one uh, dynamo or alternator. This alter alternator is not charging and also broken bearing. So what I have done. So what I have done is just to open up first and then inspect. Now this is the regulator. So the regulator. There is a two three four voltage lock not to lock this regulator so not to uh, what I mean is to keep the regulator is fit on the body of the together with the diode rectifier what we call. so this is the screw okay this is the screw anyone there in uh, somewhere so that to see this video please like and subscribe then uh, for uh, and any updates so you can uh, will be updated <laughs> oh, sorry uh, any video that I have to upload it on YouTube so will be updated anyone to know to do DIY so this is the screw you have to remove and then also this is the terminal of the positive you have to remove the nut and then there is a small pushing this pushing so okay we will remove like this by number 10 Once did you open it, so the bushing will be removed also. So that bushing hold the one terminal of the regulator. It is like a eye lug. Okay, eye lug. It is attached to the regulator. So after that one and two. So there is one number eight size of uh, nut. So you have to remove also. To take it away the regulator and the alternator so inside there is one screw this screw okay this is screw inside so you have to remove also that to keep this regulator away from the alternator okay this is the regulator this is 12 volt regulator this type of alternator is Perkins Perkins 12 volts and uh, 35 amperes okay this dynamo you can possibly use at any type of engine or any type of machine that depending on the bracket bracket you can use this as a like a semi or uh, universal if you see any bracket that the same type of this alternator you can possibly fix this type of uh, dynamo 12 volts only so it's easy to connect or easy to put wirings if you want to use this type of uh, dynamo okay this dynamo the regulator is we have two three terminal the one terminal is positive this is positive then the other one is light indicator and then the other one is rpm sender okay if you have a tachometer so this is the line going to the tachometer to see the rpm of the engine Okay, or after this, and then the, this is the diode rectifier. This is the set of rectifier. So I already repaired this dynamo. So what was the problem is one carbon brass inside 
the spring is already damaged so this is this was the spring it's already it's already separated into two parts must be this spring is complete this spring is broken so the the the, the carbon brush is not pushing to touch the brass leads okay this is the brass leads of the armature so one carbon brush is not touching in this brass leads so that's why it is not coming charging even the uh, bearing is broken it must be charging once it is the carbon is touched good the brass leads okay so what i have done with this dynamo this already finished so the only thing I want to do is to clean up. I already soldered. So this is the stator uh, coil. So this is the stator coil terminal that connected to the diode. So you see, it is already soldered. So and then after replacement, replacing bearing. And then this is the bearing was damaged before. Okay, this is the bearing. So I, re I replace it completely. Front bearing and the rear bearing. This is the rear bearing. So uh, now it's already installed. To the finish. This is the sam sample of the demo. Okay, I already inspected the whole coil if have grounded or not. So, how we can check if it is grounded or not? It's simple use positive line. Uh, we have a battery right here, so okay, I can use can use like that okay so now clamp one side and then this is this is the battery line so I can use to check okay you can use like this so this is the battery line this is negative and then this is the positive so from battery line you can use like this okay use a uh, test bulb okay one by one that coil meaning to say the coil is completely contact each other so on the body ground you have just only touched one side of the battery line with the body to make it sure that the coil is good not burn and not touching to the body of the alternator okay meaning to say this coil is good okay coil is good mm, this is the rectifier so i don't have time to clean up rectifier. so this rectifier i already checked it is good so this is the bearing so the bearing is good but uh, what i do is just to put a clean up and then a uh, a new grease grease so I remove this uh, solder the uh, terminal of the wire recycle coil so this is the figure both bearing I put it a uh, new lubrication put new grease see this side also remove so now this dynamo will be in good condition after I finish uh, fixing everything. Uh, I forget to mention this side of the rectifier or heat sink of the diode must be cleaned up to make it sure that the connection or the attaching to the body of the alternator will be connected very well. So we should have to clean it. Like uh, what I do. I use a steel brush to clean up the face of the body ground.
to connect the body ground well so now a little bit clean because it's uh, too much dust and sticky dust also so I have to fix it now easy if you understand but sometimes some people they don't understand about how the alternator works so if you can have any idea so you can put your comment uh, write your comment and then uh, try to subscribe my channel for more updates This is the front bearing, uh, rear bearing, sorry. This is the rear bearing, and then this is the front bearing. So this bearing is duplicate, but uh, we can use it. Okay. Now this is our alternator is ready for testing. So. It's already finished. So now I have to tie the other pen nut. This is the battery terminal. Okay. Going to the battery, sorry. So after replacing carbon rust, this is the carbon rust. I was removed and then the spring. Spring. It already broke the two parts. Two parts. Okay. Now. We're going for testing okay now i am ready to complete this alternator because tomorrow we're going to fix the machines okay actually this alternator is fitted for a caterpillar caterpillar 422e or 422f and also the caterpillar skid loader skid loader okay I'm going to fix the nut to keep the cover yeah and then the other side so so anyone or any electrician maybe have a little uh, idea about the alternator or no, uh, no idea how the alternator will be work or repair we you send your comment you can help someone have any type of alternator send me a comment and I can possibly help I will send any diagram and how to repair ask any video uh, I will make a video any type of alternator that you want to see how to repair by yourself or uh, we call it DIY see now it is finished so I have to tire it simple thing no more thanks everyone hope you like this video and subscribe now this is complete and ready to fix to the machine hope you like this video I don't have to clean up because you know I 
one more thing in the company so the company we need a uh, profit <laughs> not totally profit we need every machine will not stop work at at the time work on time this is the only place i'm uh, preparing to use okay. eight and number ten and number seven number seven number ten and number eight and uh, one bit of screw thanks everyone hope you like this video please subscribe thanks all Perkins generator from 4 cylinder to 6 cylinder 12 volts see that's the alternator see that this is the generator that we can uh, you possibly possibly use the alternator so and also this 422F model that's uh, the possibility you can use this alternator this alternator I see skid loader the skid loader and also this is a bearing puller bearing puller I'm preparing for testing I have to connect the belt and then the adjuster of the Baja belt So, yeah, now the belt is tight. I have to put the one side of my uh, belt tester on the positive side of the alternator. See, this is the battery line 12 volts. It's a battery line 12 volts. I don't connect like that. It's just for temporary or just on the testing. Okay, now it's showing the light is light it now so now ready for testing I will see the light Battery line. So let me see the battery. See without the battery, the action alternator is running without the battery. Let me say this alternator now is good. But when we when, when I started the light will be shut it up. Okay. 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 Okay.